Ever since getting my laser engraver and mentioning to you guys that they have become integral to my small business, income that I bring in for my workshop and things that I make and sell, a lot of you have been asking, what exactly are you selling? Well, today's a little bit of show and tell. Hey everyone, my name is Sam and welcome back to Samcraft. That's right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what exactly I make and sell using my laser engravers and uh, I guess spill some beans. So, let's go. I have the Jimitsu laser running here over on my CNC, which, oh my gosh, so this is an abomination to think about, but whatever, that's a place where it can sit for now. The reason I've done that is because of the Otur dominating the space and I'm working on finishing up that video. So that video is probably gonna be up first so you'll kind of see how real life and YouTube life pans out, but whatever, squirrel. I have the Jimitsu set up over here on my CNC and it is being run by my Fusion 5 tablet. If you don't know, that tablet is really awesome for use with laser engravers and my CNC machine. It is a cheap Windows 10 operating system tablet and well worth it for a fanless, relatively dust proof going to be safe in your workshop computer to run the various machines with my only complaint is it only has one usb port but that's okay the number one thing i make with my laser engravers are coasters i have several designs that i've come up with and listed them as sets on our small business website and i also offer some custom monogramming options as well after some research and development on my part with my specific audience that my small business has right now, so disclaimer, this is really going to vary based upon your business structure, your current clientele, or your target audience. I found that the Slate Coasters was the first thing and probably a pretty sure bet of a good product to offer that would have a good reception. I've been making them for a couple of months now and I have to say that, yeah, I think I chose correctly. I have a pretty good response from our customers, I have pretty good influx of orders, kind of a more organic flow. I don't do a lot of marketing campaigns, however we do have a lot of traffic to our store from our YouTube channels, so I guess in that sense we do market our store through our YouTube channels. But otherwise I don't push them a lot. They do sell pretty well. They're not running off the shelves per se, but they do keep these lasers running at least probably four or five times a week we'll have laser engraving days and fulfill orders. I'll go ahead and grab the box here of coasters. I purchased these from Amazon because I mean Amazon's fulfillment service and turnaround time from order to delivery is just about unmatched. So these coasters are 100% natural slate and I choose to get circle coasters or circular coasters to mumble that. These come pre-stickied with little feet on the back and overall their quality is good. It's acceptable. It is not as perfect as if I were assembling these coasters or if I was the one picking them for the end result. But I mean, this kind of manufacturing and bulk purchase of items, you're gonna get bad stuff and I call them seconds or you know things you're not really gonna pass on to your customers. All in all, I've probably purchased I will say about 300 coasters so far, and I've been pleased with this particular manufacturer's quality control. I'll leave a link to these down below if you want to check them out as well for yourself. Hopefully, their quality won't fall through the floor in the meantime, but if I do change vendors in the future, I'll make sure I update this link as well to make sure whenever you're coming to see this that I'm pointing you to the current vendor I use. As far as preparing the coasters for going to the laser engraver, I use some acetone and a microfiber cloth and wipe the tops down and also the backs because I put my business brand on the back of these coasters. I found that that does well to remove any kind of residue from the factory or from shipping or just from fingers and it helps give, okay, at least I am assuming and thinking that it helps give a better quality engraving in the end. Overall, it's pretty cheap and easy to do, so it's one of those measures that it may not help a ton, but in the instances where it could, or may one out of a hundred, it's worth it in my book. As far as software for designing, there is only one software you should ever use for a laser engraver, and that's Lightburn. Recently, their prices have gone up, which is boo on Lightburn, so I don't know if that's temporary or permanent. 
However, at the price point they're at right now, it is still worth it in my book. Being able to use one program for designing and controlling laser engravers, being able to use that same program on multiple machines, meaning I design in my office on one machine, save it to a network attached storage device hard drive, and then run it from the Fusion 5 is awesome. And also being able to load up multiple laser engravers in the software for communication parameter settings and all that stuff is awesome. So the money you spend for Lightburn is well worth it. So just consider it part of the package for laser engraving. As mentioned earlier, I designed my own coasters. However, you probably could find some files from Etsy or another online place to download and make them for yourself. Just be careful if you plan to do this as a business. Make sure that the person you purchase the designs from allow you to do commercial reproductions. Some do, some don't. And I'm generally of the opinion if they don't clearly spell it out, then you can assume that as a no. And I don't tread in those waters. That being said, you can do what you want. It's your business. It's your thing. And I'm not the graphic business coaster police. So have at it. So here's a little overview of our coasters that we currently offer and sell. As you can see, there are some monograms, there's some honeybee style sets, there is a farm life set, at least that's what we call it, and then of course there's the custom monogram as well. Unless I already said that. I've also developed some pop culture-esque coaster sets, things based upon some movies that I enjoy, such as The Goonies or Princess Bride. Those have not been as popular of a seller. Hands down, the most popular design that we've sold are the custom monograms, which I understand. I can totally see that. But we have sold a couple of the pop culture ones, and those are kind of fun to do. Looks like the Jimitsu is almost done with these two coasters. Let me take some time to swap them out, load in some new ones, and get it rock and rolling again to fulfill this customer's order. And then we'll talk about order fulfillment, how we package these up, and a few other things that I can think about. As you see here, I have developed the workflow to have my template burned onto my actual waste board. All I do is visually line up the coasters within their circle that has been burned. And I found that that does perfectly fine for my needs. It allows me to have a multi-purpose template. It never moves. These points are locked into the homing point of the laser. And that has given me very good, very repeatable results so far. Now, I say so far because who knows what may happen. But so far this has worked great. As you can see, I have still not updated the homing speed of the Jinmitsu laser, so she is a little slow, but that's okay. Still gets the job done. For these particular coasters, my speed is 4,000 millimeters per minute, and power is at 100% for this laser. All right, it is homed and my new file is loaded. I'm gonna go ahead and frame this. I always like to run through the framing procedure to make sure this guy is going where I expect it to. Looks great. So we'll go ahead and start this job. All right, let's talk about packaging for a second. That giant roll over there that looks like a huge roll of toilet paper is my package roll for coasters. It is some pre-formed tear off as needed bubble wrap pouches. I got these from a company called Uline. They are an online supplier of everything you can think of as far as packaging. These are extremely heavy duty, good quality poly bubble mailers, and they include their own adhesive strip as well. I'm not sponsored by Uline at all, but I can tell you these are great and well worth the purchase. You will have to buy them in bulk. Okay, maybe not a lot of bulk. I can't remember if you have to buy them in bulk or not, but I bought several hundred at a time and have been going through them quick, which is good. Hey, it means business is good. But I've been very, very pleased with these, have zero complaints, and honestly, will probably never use anything different for packaging up these coasters to ship out the door. 
I won't seal it up because I haven't put my brand on the back yet, but you can see I picked a size that fits the coasters fairly well. There is a little bit of wiggle room still in there, but I've not had any problems with coasters being damaged upon shipment or anything yet. If I do, it's as easy as replacing it for your customer, but I think this gives a nice, good presentation. This shows that I'm trying my best to make sure the product gets to the customer in the end in perfect shape. And honestly, from a labor time investment of packaging up items to sell, plop it in the pouch, pull the strip off, fold it over, and you're done. You have a very nice tight package. It's not gonna go anywhere and it's super easy to do. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about, I didn't know I wanted to talk about this until it literally just happened. And we're gonna call that anomalies from your workshop. Here's a look at the first coaster that was on the laser, just got engraved. Notice how it looks really, really feathered around the edges and basically doesn't look good. Compare that with this one that is an exact rerun of the job on another coaster. Quite a big difference, huh? Well, I can't tell you what exactly happened. I have the same settings. These coasters are the same thickness. The design is the same. I prepped them the exact same way. I can't tell you why this one looks junk and this one looks good. What I can tell you is to always factor in this happening at random times. Hopefully it doesn't happen too often for you and consider that in your product purchasing or material purchases to give yourself so much percentage of waste, mess ups, or things that just don't work out. All right guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful, encouraging, entertaining, or otherwise, I finally answered the question of what exactly I'm using these laser engravers for, how it's bringing money in for my small business, and why I just seem really excited about having them in my shop. If you have any questions or comments, leave them for me down below. Otherwise, take care, and I'll see you guys next time in the workshop.